Many of great actors have played the role of U.S. president throughout film history, including playing some real-life presidents in biopics. Mostly, they just shout at their cabinet or have to make a decision whether to launch some nukes or let the hero of the film stop the villain. However, there are a few where the president is more directly involved, putting himself in the line of fire. Before we begin, please like, share, and subscribe to our channel. Every new sub helps us achieve our goal and keeps us motivated to create new content. With that being said, I'm your host, Jamie, and here are 10 films where the president is in danger. Number 1, Air Force One. 1997 was a good year for film, and Air Force One, written and directed by Wolfgang Peterson, is at the top of my list. Harrison Ford is known in every household, same as Glenn Close, and they both dominated this film. So let's break it down. Harrison Ford plays a no-nonsense president named James Marshall. He's even won some medals for his time served in the military. After leaving Moscow with his family in tow, the plane is hijacked. These terrorists want a leader released from prison, but we're not a country to negotiate with. Marshall even says this. But the VP Catherine Bennett, played by Close, wants him to let security take care of the terrorists. Yeah, that doesn't happen. Marshall ends up fighting with the terrorists and things just go haywire. Such an action-packed film, I'm sure you're gonna love it. So head over to Hulu, Philo, Google Play, Fandango, Sling TV, Apple TV, and Amazon Prime to enjoy this thrill ride. Number 2, Olympus Has Fallen. Released in 2013, we have this star-studded cast with the likes of Gerard Butler, Morgan Freeman, Angela Bassett, Ashley Judd, and Rick Yoon. While receiving mixed reviews from critics, this is probably the best one in the Has Fallen series. So, Mike Banning, played by Butler, is a Secret Service agent when one day, the president's car crashes and his wife dies. Banning has taken off presidential detail and his boss wants him back in the field where he belongs. Well, one day, the president meets with Kang, played by Yoon, when Kang decides to take over the White House. This film is so action-packed and a lot of explosions and fighting. Almost feels like you're watching a James Cameron movie, but no. I highly recommend checking this out over on Google Play. Fandango, Amazon Prime, and Apple TV. You will love it. Number 3, Iron Man 3. Robert Downey Jr., Gwyneth Paltrow, and Don Cheadle all reprise their roles for the third installment of Iron Man. One thing about the MCU that I love is that the actors stay in the franchise, maintaining their roles. And we can't go wrong with Robert Downey Jr. as Iron Man. The third film has Stark wondering why he can't sleep, like what's wrong with him. And yeah, he does get his answer. But his main goal has shifted from protecting the world to protecting Peppa, the love of his life. Well, that all comes crashing down when the Mandarin attacks the president and kidnaps him. Iron Man, along with Iron Patriot, have been called into action, but they need backup. All those suits Stark made come in handy, and I am in love with how this all turns out. Make sure to check it out over on Disney+, Plus, Stars, Hulu, Sling TV, Roku, Amazon Prime, Philo, Google Play, Apple TV, and Fandango. Number 4, White House Down. This film was released just months after Olympus has fallen in 2013. So critics already saw the whole president in danger and here comes the underdog to rescue the day. But come on, it's Channing Tatum, Jamie Foxx, and Maggie Gyllenhaal. 
So great cast. The plot does differ as John Cale, played by Tatum, is taking his daughter to the White House for a tour and also a job interview for him. Carol Finnerty, played by Hall, is not impressed though, deeming him underqualified. So, Cale and his daughter Emily go on the tour when a bomb detonates in DC, putting the White House in lockdown. Cale and Emily get separated and Cale has to get back to her, but finds out the president, played by Fox, is being held hostage at that moment. So, does Cale give up? Or does he rescue the president and everybody else? You'll have to see all the action over on Netflix, Google Play, Amazon Prime, Apple TV, and Fandango. Number 5. Escape from New York John Carpenter originally wrote this in the mid-70s as a reaction to the Watergate scandal, but didn't do anything with it till after the success of Halloween in 1981. Kurt Russell and John Carpenter were both praised by critics, and yeah, it's a good film. Granted, the effects don't hold up well. The plot is pretty simple. Set in the year 1997, Manhattan Island becomes the sole maximum security prison in the country. The president is on Air Force One when it's hijacked, and he's put into the escape pod and dropped right into the middle of Manhattan Island and gets kidnapped by the crime boss. That's where Snake, played by Russell, comes into play as he is there to rescue the president. But can he get in this large prison and get out? Make sure to check this out over on Slang TV, Google Play, Fandango, Amazon Prime, and Apple TV. It is worth the ride. Hey folks, sorry to interrupt, but we just launched our very own merch store at FatNinja.shop. Uh, we sell everything from t-shirts, hoodies, mugs, and more. So we would greatly appreciate it if you checked it out. All the proceeds go to our future projects. So uh, it helps us make any kind of you know, movies and, and short films that we want to make in the future. So um, if you got time, check out FatNinja.shop. Uh, thanks again, and uh, back to the video. Number six, Independence Day. Roland Emmerich came up with this idea while promoting Stargate. So, he and Dean Devlin wrote this to be on a large scale of alien invasion. Released in 1996, it couldn't have come at a better time. Starring Will Smith, Jeff Goldblum, and Bill Pullman, we get this disaster film which was the turning point for Hollywood blockbusters. So, the film is about aliens coming to Earth and they want to destroy it. Many ships are located all around the world and they're just sitting in wait. The aliens then start sending in fighters to see what the people are capable of. And one of them dies because of Captain Steve Hiller, played by Smith. Hiller takes the deceased alien to a military base in Nevada, where he meets some questionable characters. This whole story is good, and I really enjoyed this one. Especially the president's speech. Phenomenal. There's a ton of action, some comedy, and a lot of tension as you want the people to survive. So fly on over to Stars, Hulu, Sling TV, Roku, Philo, Fandango, Google Play, Apple TV, and Amazon Prime to join in the action. Number 7, In the Line of Fire. Wolfgang Peterson is awesome when it comes to the films he decides to be a part of, and this is a prime example of that. Starring Clint Eastwood, we get this action thriller. The story goes that Frank, played by Eastwood, was assigned to protect JFK on the day of his assassination, but failed. Well, Many years later, he isn't on presidential duty anymore and gets a phone call from a guy who refers to himself as Booth. Kind of a reference to John Wilkes Booth and essentially tells Frank that he's watching him and he's gonna fail again with this current president who does remain unnamed throughout the film. Now, 
It's up to Frank to rescue the president and redeem himself. But can he solve it before it's too late? Head on over to AMC Plus, Philo, Sling TV, Roku, Google Play, Fandango, Apple TV, and Amazon Prime to see Clint Eastwood in this action-packed adventure. Number 8. The Sentinel In 2006, Clark Johnson directed this action thriller starring Michael Douglas, Kiefer Sutherland, Eva Longoria, and Kim Basinger. This film often flies under the radar, but it should be held in higher ranks. So, Pete Garrison, played by Douglas, is a retired Secret Service agent who is a suspect for the plot to assassinate the president. Well, Garrison isn't that type of person. Sure, he may be unfaithful to his wife, but he would never plan to kill the president. Or would he? Garrison even takes a polygraph and fails, so people start assuming it's him. But they don't realize that it's just because he's having an affair. During the whole ordeal, he maintains his innocence even fighting off all the agents that are after him. The choreography is amazing, and the camera angles are fitting to each scene. You're gonna have to check this out and see who the real bad guy is over on Amazon Prime, Google Play, Apple TV, and Fandango. It is a really good time. Number 9, The Manchurian Candidate. Based on Richard Condon's novel of the same name, and a remake of the 1962 version, we have this psychological thriller with conspiracy theories and a lot of questions to be asked. Starring Denzel Washington, Liev Schreiber, and Meryl Streep, it's probably the best cast for these roles. So, we follow Bennett Marco, played by Washington after the events of the Gulf War in 1991. One of the sergeants, Raymond Shaw, played by Schreiber, is awarded the Medal of Honor for getting the guys to safety. Now Shaw is up for vice president, and his mother, played by Streep, is not going to let anything stand in her son's way. Well, Marco starts having nightmares, and this leads him to start looking into things going as far as investigating Manchurian Global. This film really has you at the edge of your seat, and the whole atmosphere of it just ties everything together. This is so good. I know you will love this film. So check it out on Max, Hulu, Sling TV, Amazon Prime, Google Play, Apple TV, and Fandango. Number 10, Absolute Power. Produced and directed by, as well as starring Clint Eastwood, this adaptation from the 1996 novel of the same name by David Baldacci. There's also the amazing talents of Gene Hackman, Ed Harris, and Judy Davis. So it's gotta be good. We start off with Luther Whitney, played by Eastwood, as he breaks into a billionaire's mansion, but quickly hides as the owner's wife returns. Well, the wife is fighting off the president because he's sexually assaulting this woman. And when he screams for help, the agents shoot the wife. Well, now it's up to Luther to get things back in order. The detectives working this case know that Luther isn't the murdering type, but he has the weapon she used. So now he has to protect himself and ultimately save the day. It's an amazing story, and I love Clint Eastwood in these films. So make sure to check it out over on Fandango, Google Play, Apple TV, and Amazon Prime. Thanks for checking out the video. Did we leave any films off the list? Let us know in the comments. If you enjoyed the video, please like, share, and subscribe to our channel. Don't forget to tap that bell icon to stay up to date with our latest releases. You can reach out to us on Twitter or X at Studios Fat, or chat with us on Discord, linked below. Make sure to check out our very own merch store over at fatninja.shop. 
all proceeds go toward our next film project. So we'd greatly appreciate it. I've been your host, Jamie. Thanks again. Take care.